All right, welcome everyone. We're gonna be starting in just a minute. There's actually uh, there's actually nothing moving yet, except you should see a moving watermark in the bottom corner there. And I am going to switch on the cameras and everything here. Still gonna give people just a minute to uh, to drop in here. I should actually get in the DJ booth. I can get in the DJ booth here for a minute. Oh, looks like I need some more light on my green screen. There we go. So um, just to give you guys a heads up, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a little bit of musical chairs here during this, uh, during this session because right here, I'm in the DJ booth in the green screen. But then to actually show you things in the interface, I need to run over here and sit in front of the computer. So uh, yeah, just be aware that, uh, and that's why I'm wearing the uh, the uh, Bluetooth here because it just makes it easier to run back and forth. So yeah, I want to send a shout out to everyone in there: DJ Decade, DJ Trip, DJ Mystery, DJ Stream TV, DJ Des Deft SF. Who else do we have? We've got me. We've got VJ Tracks, DJ Roger E. We've got Jeff Butler, uh, DJ Stephen King. Thanks for joining us, you guys. This is um, our first VJ Tracks live session where we're going to go over the a um, lot of different things, topics mostly about streaming, um, tools, and resources, because that's what we're all about in uh, 2000. 21. Let's see here if I can get my notes. Oh, so this is interesting. All right, so I'm gonna have to jump back and forth between my notes here. OBS is, is being difficult. So first off, um, this is VJ Tracks Live Pro that I'm going to be showing. Um, you've probably heard or maybe you've heard over the last year or two something called VJ Tracks. And it's a, a company we started for offering solutions for broadcasters and DJs, like tools, like software, like content, um, live VJ loops. Um, and we designed, we designed this mostly for DJs and performers and video DJs, but eventually we, uh, we want to offer someone to everyone. There's a lot of people that are out there that are just chatting or that are game streamers. And the idea that they have um, much more dynamic presentation and broadcast than just what OBS offers. So um, first of all, let me, are my levels good? Cause I am talking on a, on an, on a Bluetooth. So in the chat, let me know if my levels are good enough. Otherwise I'm just gonna sit here being talking to myself. So <laughs> thanks DJ Trip. I've never used a Bluetooth for something like this. So this is something new and exciting. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about VJ Tracks Live Pro. So who is this for? This is for video DJs, for non-video DJs, for on-camera DJs, for off-camera DJs, for on-camera green screen DJs, and pretty much like I mentioned, anyone that does any kind of broadcasting that wants to have a little bit more control over their, their broadcast. Um, DJ Decade is saying his video is not working. I assume that might be just him only. And hopefully everyone else sees a big talking, talking head coming out of the DJ booth here. Let me know in the chat if you would. So this is, um, I'm going to switch over to the interface here real quick. So this is a program called Magic. And VJ Tracks is based off the Magic Music Visuals application. And this is kind of a, it's a little known application. Some of you that have been around may have come across it. Um, I came across it and found out how powerful and amazing it was because it's really lightweight as far as your processor usage goes, um, but it's really powerful as far as being able to combine like music video inputs and live camera inputs and 
um, video files and images and then be able to kind of translate those in a modular. Let me pop up one of these modules here. So be able to work on these in kind of these modules that are strung together. I'm sure you've seen this kind of modular interface before. Yes, we believe in magic. We totally believe in magic. So um, I'm gonna give you a really, really quick tour. So you can see we've got, and I'm actually kind of gonna go down the list. So watermarks, what are watermarks? Well, those are the fun logos that you see in the uh, lower hand corners of your screens and quite often they move around. Um, and it's really easy to swap out a watermark um, all you have to do is load in, let's see here, let's load in, well, in this case, we're going to, we're going to change it to a, a bug instead of a video, we're going to change it to a graphic. And then I'm just going to size that down. Just going to use my scale. And now anytime, um, I have my watermark appear, it's going to appear in different locations, depending on uh, which which screen setup? Because if I move my DJ booth to the right, obviously my watermarks can move. Um, and then also they're sound reactive. So if we play a little music. So you can see anything can be sound reactive, um, and you can take those sound inputs and map those to pretty much anything, scale or color. So um, you have the ability to have two different watermarks. Um, also your logo, which I, I just swapped that out. And again, they can be video files or they can be uh, movie files. So let's go to the DJ booth because the DJ booth is kind of interesting here. And I'm gonna turn off my music video real quick. Okay, now we've got a preview window open. So this is um, this is actually the output, this top screen, and this is my preview. I'm sure you DJs are familiar with preview windows or preview outputs. So this is where if I turn off, you'll kind of see what my studio looks like. If I turn off my, if I turn off my chroma key, my luma key, you can see um, I'm actually just sitting in a green screen room here. So once I turn on my chroma key and then I crop out some of those other things, I now have my nice DJ booth background. I have, so this, this facade will show up in many scenes. Um, and of course I have the option to put a logo. I can swap out this logo just by, um, let's put in, let's go to the booth facade. And rather than the VJ tracks logo, we're going to swap it out for Uh, let's see here. How about this DJ Lex video? So now you can see I've got my, um, I just swapped that out. And also some functions that are handy is you can swap out between the actual video feed versus any kind of graphic or logo on your, your DJ booth facade. Um, also, if you have any qu any questions on anything while I'm doing this, go ahead, post that in the chat. If I don't see it, one of the moderators will uh, pick that up and address that. So you can see it's really easy. You're just selecting files, swapping out these files. Um, then we've got the music video input. So I am using I am using Mix Emergency through NDI, and then I use an application called NDI to siphon. Um, so on the Mac, Magic accepts a siphon input. On Windows, it does Spout and NDI. So I'm actually using my mix emergency output through the NDI to siphon. And so when I'm playing my music video, I'm on my DJ computer over here. And I'm sending that out through NDI via siphon. So now I've got my music video feed going on and sound. Next, um, if you have multiple webcams, like I do, I actually have in some more advanced scenes, um, I actually have an overview webcam of my studio there. 
you can see how you can see how uh how garage setup it looks <laughs> that's the magic you can create with just a little bit of a little bit of green material and uh, green cloth and you can get that green screen effect so yeah this is where you pick your cameras for your uh, multiple inputs um, now let's talk about the scenes that we have um, one thing you'll that you may want to be aware of is that i've got a stream deck here and i am switching all of this through a stream deck through MIDI, actually. Um, let me bring up Stream Deck real quick, show you what that looks like. All right, so yeah, this we already kind of set up the Stream Deck profile for you. And I'm going to go to the DJ VJ scenes, and I'm going to start clicking some buttons here so you can kind of see what we're doing. All right, so. These are the scenes that it comes with. We've got this left where the DJ booth is on the left side of the screen. It's in the center. It's on the right. Type center. Then no booth. Then we've got some framed views, which is really popular and uh, with with uh, streaming where you've got, you're in your DJ booth and you've kind of got these frames going on and you've got your VJ loops in the background. And again, you can put in you can swap out any of these loops. All these loops and logos are just what ships with the program, but you have the uh, control to swap out any of these. Let me grab my second stream deck over here. So yeah, then you have these kind of framed views. Um, then you have, this is kind of cool, that's showing off some of the technology of um, kind of real-time 3D reflection effects. Still got my music going here in the background. And you can see that is a real-time 3D reflection um, of all of the uh, all of the content. You actually see the video screen here being reflected down there in the um, in the scene. So those are your scenes. Um, there's uh, quite a few more more uh, scenes, but uh, that's those are the basics. Then you have triggers, which um, this is what we call our virtual stage effects line. So let me pull up the virtual stage effects. So considering that our presentation is a virtual stage, we want things like flamethrowers, pyro jets. We want money drops. So when our streamers uh, tip us, we hit that money drop button or um, confetti drops. And we've got our laser scanners, CO2 jets, cold spark machines, bubbles, spotlights, and we've got strobes, which you use all the time for build, so, or for build up. So it's kind of like you have this mini light controller box with your stream deck right while you're broadcasting. Oh, and another thing is that um, there's a color reactive button so that when you're playing, when you're playing music, you'll see things start shifting the color. So those are some of the, um, and those work pretty much on every scene. So it doesn't matter what scene you're in, you're gonna have just about all of those available to you. And uh, I spent a cold winter night with a video camera and actual flamethrowers recording those. So I hope you guys appreciate those. <laughs> and welcome to all the new folks that are just joining us. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to post those in the chat and we will get to those. And yes, this is the first time we're broadcasting on this Twitch channel. so. There are no emotes, there are no channel points, there is nothing. So we really appreciate you uh, joining us on this first broadcast. Um, then I, the other thing is, um, and these, these are kind of more for the, these are really handy, especially video DJs will appreciate these, but these are, these are great tools for just any kind of presentation is that there are stingers built in. So, and I'm going to get back over to the DJ booth view for this. Stingers are a way to take your branding and integrate them into the scene or into your broadcast while you're actually 
switching between different scenes. So for example, um, I'm in my floating scene here and I'm gonna hit stinger one on my stream deck. And then while the stinger goes to full frame, I'm gonna swap out to another scene. So boom, I'm now swapping out to another scene and I'm, I'm there. And so there's three different stinger locations and again, it's mostly used to either throw a logo on top of everything or use it as a way to, as a way to swap out between your scenes when it goes to full screen. And those are really easy to swap out. Let me do that real quick. We're gonna go to the stingers overlay. I'm just gonna pick a different stinger. I'm gonna use my uh, my DJ Bueller spinning cube stinger. And so now that will, anytime I hit stinger one on my uh, stream deck, that's gonna be the stinger that it uses. So you can see it's really easy to just swap out files as needed. Um, oh, also plus we're gonna talk about branding. At any point in time, you can just have kind of an overlay of your uh, your logo here. And that's just that's just a button. Let me swap out. Let me swap that. Out. Well, let's see here. Actually, I'm going to swap out one of my virtual stage effects for my customized laser logo. So um, all right, now let's go back to I'm just swapping out my laser now. There you go. So now we've got the DJ Bueller laser. So you can see it's really easy to swap out and customize, of course, out of the box, everything says VJ tracks and all you need to do is swap it out with your logos. And we've got tutorials on YouTube on how to do that. And um, again, this is all, this is all really low CP usage. And uh, you can see how this environment is much more powerful than just trying to make layers in OBS. OBS does some really great stuff, but this is a way how you can stop using OBS to create your shows and use it magic with VJ tracks and combine all of these, these sources together. Hello from Sweden. Good to have you here, Forgard. Okay, so um, the other thing is we'll talk about really quick is say you're not a video DJ and you're just, you know, say I'm a green screen DJ, but I have no, I'm not spinning music videos. That's not a problem. There's a button here that says VJ Loops and VJ Loops accesses a folder of pretty much any loop file you put in there, it'll go through and grab them at random and play. So if you're not a video DJ, but you want some visuals happening, means when you go to any of those screens, Instead of that music video that you're seeing, DJing with my music, you're just gonna have those loops playing in the background. So this might be a green screen DJ that doesn't do music videos or he's not doing music videos for this broadcast, but he can drag and drop all these loops in there and have, have it just go through and randomly grab loops. So that's really uh, that's really the basics of it. So let's open this up for some questions, and it could mostly about you know hey what are the, there's there's a feature there's that feature or even if you have feature suggestions we're always adding features to this. So we always ask DJs um, what what it is they need or what's what's hard to do or what's missing whether they're DJs or VJs. So we always bring that up with the, with the DJ community and the video DJ community is, hey, let us know what it is that is not out there. So um, yeah, if you don't use a gr green screen, that's fine. Actually, there's scenes here. So you'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of people 
don't use green screen because they have a really cool like garage or bedroom setup with lights. So there's scenes for those camera only DJs is what we call them. So say that I had a really cool, you know, I had all my lights going in the background. Well, you still have your full screen or your framed view if you want of your cool bedroom slash uh, garage setup. Um, and you still have access to all the, um, no, you still have access to all the cool, oh, let me turn this off, my uh, laser off. So even if, you know, again, the, you're not in a green screen studio and you're just showing your, your studio, your garage, you've got all your lights or whatever, you can still use all of these virtual stage effects on top of it. All right, so can you explain a little more, more about siphon out? Got it. Okay, so um, the way that you can get other video sources into magic is through siphon, which is a Mac technology that takes the video output of applications and moves, sends it around, moves it in, sends it out. And NDI is also um, another technology that sends video across computers or across networks. So Mix Emergency has Siphon and NDI built in. And NDI is what, so I'm set up on a network here. My DJ computer's over here. And this music video that I'm playing is being sent out through Mix Emergency through NDI. And what I'm doing is bringing that in as an input. We should bring the input, op open it up for you. I have this tab called Music Video Input. And we've got this module here that's showing me it's using, um, I'm actually using a plugin called, or an application called NDI to Siphon to convert it from NDI into Siphon on the Mac. So you would need the NDI to Siphon application, which is a, just a free utility. Um, and then once you select that, that's going to show your video output from your computer. Um, on Windows, it's called Spout, but there's also an NDI module on Windows for Magic. Um, so typically you're using Spout or NDI, and then you actually send Siphon out of Magic into OBS and that you'll notice that the Mac OBS has a siphon client and you just select the siphon client. So does that answer your question about siphon, about NDI, mix emergency? And yes, this is Mac and Windows only. We're just kind of uh, clarifying the different video output technology on Mac versus Windows. So Windows will use Spout and NDI, and Mac will use Siphon, and then you can use some NDI Siphon utilities. Also, we want everyone to stick around um, because we're going to post a coupon code that's going to give you 50% off a loop, a VJ loop pack. And we're also going to draw at random at the very end, who ever is still here at the very end we're going to pick a um pick one of the viewers at random and we're actually going to hook them up with a vj loop pack of their choice all right um let's go back to the questions And also we really want you to join our mailing list. You'll see that link in the chat. If you join the mailing list, we send out announcements. Uh, we do not bombard <laughs> our mailing list pretty much. It's like, hey, we've got a new product or we've got a freebie um, or we've got something coming up here. So we'll be sending out links to freebies on our mailing list and that link is in the chat. All right, um, any more questions? 
And if not, if uh, any of the mods want to give me something to talk about, or is there anything we want to show without, without going too crazy? Okay, you want to talk about the stream deck? We can totally do that. <clears throat> so let's bring up, let's bring up the stream deck. I actually have two stream decks hooked up. So this is the, this is the profile. We actually provide you with all of this. All you have to do is import this profile. So this is, and you, you, you can't see which buttons I'm pressing while I do it, but you can see it's laid out with all of your virtual stage effects here. All the green buttons are your different scenes. You've got your stingers up here. You've got um, your defaults here. Then you've got scenes for the camera only DJs here. So pretty much on the Stream Deck XL, you've got everything you need um, right at your finger trip tips to do your virtual stage effects, your stingers, switching between scenes. Oh, okay. Stream Deck. Um, and Stream Deck, obviously, there's a, there's a MIDI plugin for Windows and Mac, so, it, so you will get a profile that works on either operating system. So we want to talk about 3D. So I'm going to have to open up. So everything you've been seeing so far is what VJ Tracks ships with. What I'm going to open up next is my custom DJ Bueller scene that's got a lot, uh, a lot more crazy stuff in it. Let's see. And we're going to talk about 3D objects for a minute. And this could take this could take a minute to load because this has ridiculous amount of data in it. Oh, it looks like my hard drive fell asleep. <laughs> Here we go. As far as the Stream Deck goes, we're using the Stream Deck with the 15 buttons. We have a profile and the Stream Deck XL. Those are the profiles that we've made as for those two sizes. The mini one is, is really not usable for, I mean, yes, technically it could be usable, but you're just going to find that you're switching between pages all the time rather than actually focusing on streaming and uh, clicking buttons. Also, another thing I should mention. Um, so you can put your scenes on autopilot We talk about magic has this really cool playlist feature. Um, let's show the playlist window. So we've got all of our scenes in here. And so when I'm triggering them on the stream deck, um, it's, you know, we're just clicking these through the stream deck, going down the list. And then you can say auto advance and randomize and then set a timer for each scene. So the idea is that you don't have to, you can, you don't have to worry about switching scenes if you set up just kind of a, a random or non-random playlist of all your scenes and those will just swap out and you can even add a dissolve um, and a timer for those dissolves. Or if you want to jump, even though you've got the playlist going through all the different scenes, at any point in time, you can still hit your stream deck and jump to any scene. Hey guys, how's it going? Et cetera, et cetera. All right, back to the mix. So that's how you can just kind of put your scenes on autopilot and have them switch automatically for you and still have the ability to jump to them at any point in time. All right, I need to, let's see here. So right now I'm at 30 frames a second. My CPU is at 5.4%. I've got an iMac that's probably about five years old. Um, it's got a lot of RAM, but um, yeah, super low CPU usage with Magic. Um, let me load in my other profiles here. 
for Stream Deck so I can show you the, uh, the DJ Bueller scene. And again, these are things that I've been building Um, these are things that I built in Magic, so which means anyone can build these in Magic, but these are things that we'll be introducing in the future. I really should put my music video on loop. All right. So this is what the, the DJ Bueller layout looks like. And let's talk a little bit about 3D objects. So the idea in Magic is that you can take a video, you can take an image, you can take a live video, and it's gonna be one of these modules. And then you can translate that module through formulas, through MIDI, through sound. Magic is the name of the application we're using for those that just joined us. So Magic is what we bundle with. Some people know about Magic and um, which you can buy just the project files to do this. But if you don't have Magic, you can buy it as a bundle and it's gonna give, it's gonna be the most inexpensive way to get all of this. We'll talk about sales stuff later, all that's on the website. But yes, Magic, when we're talking about Magic, we are talking about the application called Magic. So this is the 3D scene, This um, all these TVs. And you can see this one TV with me on the webcam. And let me break apart, let me break apart the scene for you really quick. Also, let me make sure we're uh, we're not okay. Turn off auto advance. There we go. So you can bring in a 3D model. It's OBJ, a textured OBJ model. Let's go to our preview window here, and you can see this is a 3D model. Let me move some things over here. So here's our TV mesh 3D model right here. Um, what I've done is brought it into all of these, and this is where it gets pretty messy. But you can see what I've done is I've duplicated this one, two, three, four, five, five, six times, and then duplicated that on top of each other. And I can turn off any of these rotations here. Let's see here. So let me stop it from spinning. And now it's just kind of floating in space. And I just kind of muting these modules. So this is a module that kind of tilts it up and down that I'm turning on and off. This is a module that rotates the entire stack. And then it just kind of adds those together. And if I wanted to turn off any of the, the uh, stacks of Yep, there we go. So I'm moving some of these uh, by turning these on and off. You can see I'm I'm doing all, oh, all sorts of fun things here. So you can see each one of these represents one of the TVs in the stack that I'm just turning on and off. Um, so the idea is once I have that TV, I can make all sorts of different. Oh, I guess I turned all those off. I shouldn't have done that. Let me see if I can. I'm just going to undo. Turn those back on. Ooh. Undo works while I'm in a different layer, great. So for example, here is another layout that I'm working on where it's just a wall of TVs rather than a tower of TVs. And all I have to do is assign that to a new scene and then I can trigger that scene at any point in time. Um, so we've got the tower one, the tower two where I'm actually inside the tower this time. So it's kind of giving you um, kind of giving you this inside cylinder look. Um, here's the 3D arcade cabinet. This is a fun one. So got this 3D model and then I threw it in this scene with this video background. So let's see, where's my video background? Yeah, there's my video background. I can just turn that on and off. Um, and the music videos are actually playing on that. So that's your, your actual real-time music video stream playing on the monitors of all these. And the cool thing is once you learn how to use Magic, this application, you can pretty much build any of this yourself.
that's that's all I did is um, is it's just kind of trial and error and having fun and saying, hey, how do we do this? Uh, question, do you do this 3D work as a service? Yes. So we can actually create we can actually create um, a version of VJ Tracks Pro specifically for you, where if you want us to do all the branding, you want us to do the 3D spinning logos, make custom stingers. We actually have that as a service, and that's something you can contact us um, through the through the uh, website about. Um, obviously, for the the regular version of this, it's kind of you're on your own, but it's really easy to swap out logos. But yes, you can um, you can hire us to do a lot of this custom work for you. Can you get flyers as part of the service from E? <laughs> You'll have to talk to E about that. Um, but the idea of uh, being able to integrate flyers, there's actually a scene in here that's called the info scene. I'll, I'll just get it from here. The, all right, our info scene is kind of in, it's a scene that is designed to be your flyer. So whether it's um, whether it's a movie like an animated flyer, or so this is a show I do on Wednesdays, and so as my scenes are randomly going through, all of a sudden for ten seconds, this scene will pop up, um, as that's the show I'm currently using. Or you could create a video or animation for any kind of uh, events you have coming up, and you can do as many as you want. You can just duplicate the scene and say flyer number one, flyer number two, flyer number three. So. It's really, once you know how to use it, it's really easy to using, use this as a, as a starting point to start making your own scenes. Um, oh, this is a cool one that eventually will be releasing is the Rubik's Cube scene. So we actually have the music videos playing on the, the 3D spinning Rubik's Cube. And in one of the faces of the Rubik's Cube is the webcam. There I am. And again, this is all real time and my CPU usage is at 7% right now, 30 frames a second, just FYI. All right, so any other questions? Let's see here. Um, this should be recorded and should show up on the channel later, I believe, if we've set that up correctly. Also, um, I am broadcasting tonight as DJ Bueller, if I can plug that, I'm broadcasting tonight as DJ Bueller at 8 p.m. Mountain, so that's 7 p.m. Pacific. And you can see, you know, I'll be, you can actually see what it looks like in a real DJ presentation. Um, uh, Mystery, can you post the DJ Bueller official Twitch channel in there? And feel free to plug your own Mystery as well as DJ Trip. Oh, the flyer scene is what I just showed as far as it's a scene designed for you to put a PNG in. Um, the question came up, the flyer scene, and that's just what we're calling the info scene, where you can just drop at any point in you know, time, drop a movie in there, drop a PNG. So, and then you set it up in your playlist. So it shows, you know, randomly or it goes through the list. So if you had a video playing here that said, um, well, actually I have a starting soon. I have a starting soon scene that's actually animated. So before my broadcast, this is kind of broadcasting so people can see that there's actually something going on. And then I hit the music jump into my scene. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Weird Wednesday. And we'd like to plug the um, email list, the mailing list once more. Their link is in the chat, sending out freebies and um, and letting you know coupon codes and letting you know when we have um, new products available. Um, one of the things we just released is the uh, virtual stage effects CO2 pack with, oh, how many, you know, 30 different CO2 jets similar to what we have here with the, uh, 
Oh, it's on my other stream deck. We've got our virtual stage effects um, like flamethrowers, confetti, lasers, money. So we're going to be doing um, VJ loop packs just of those. Oh, yeah, there's the CO2. That's the new one. You can see it doing all sorts of fun CO2 stage sequences. Um, and we sell those just as um, as MP4s and movie files. So even if you don't have VJ tracks, you can use those in OBS um, or any kind of video editing um, applications um, up to 4K. So if there aren't any more questions, we'll give a few more seconds to ask any more questions, and then we'll go ahead and pick a winner for the free VJ Loop pack of their choice. Um, oh, DJ Deft, you you must have, are you talking about custom stingers or how do the stingers work? We did go over the stingers, but you may have missed that. Okay, DJ Positive P. Magic is the actual application. So the program is called Magic. VJ Tracks, we create this content for Magic. So that's our relationship. So you've got this program called Magic. VJ Tracks is a company that creates VJ loops. We create content for Magic targeting DJs and VJs. And we bundle um, our VJ Tracks products with Magic through our website so you can get it for a really good price. You can get the Magic application for a really good price. Um, DJ Deft, SF, just in case you missed these, these stingers, do that really quick, because we did go over that previously. The idea is that you've got these three stinger buttons, and then you can swap out to a different scene really quick right underneath it. Um, and we actually will make, uh, we do custom stingers as well. So boom, I'm actually gonna to change to a no DJ booth view. Oops, oh, I didn't switch. Sorry, I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong. Um... You guys are seeing something different. You're in the preview window. Let's open up the magic window. There we go. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm in this front, I'm in this zoomed in view and then that stinger is gonna go full screen and now I'm gonna to jump to a different view. Stinger number three, it goes full screen, and I switchly I, or quickly switch my scene over to another scene while that stinger is still activated. And we're working on a way to automate that as well. So what you're seeing right now is the, the DJ Bueller scenes, which um, if you didn't come in earlier, you missed the VJ track scenes. This is pretty similar except this is showing quite a few more bells and whistles. All right, um, so I'm going to have, let's see, how many, how do we want to do the drawing, Mr. E? How, do, how would you like to do the drawing? Are you just going to pick a random number and see which viewer that currently is? And then we will get um, we'll get your email address, and we will um, let you pick out a VJ Loops pack of your choice. What's up, DJ Satisfaction? You're just coming in at the very end, but we did record this. All right, DJ Mystery, you're going to let us know who is the winner of the free pack. Okay, most engaged viewer of the day. I, it's your call. Whatever you want to do. And I'm about to post um, a coupon code.
So here is a coupon code at vjtracks.com and you get 50% off a VJ Loops pack of your choice. So the coupon code, and it's only good for 48 hours. It's called Live Session. That's the coupon code, Live Session. So you can go to vjtracks.com, go to the shop, and it's good for 50% off one VJ Loops pack. And we're going to be doing this every week. And if you tune in, we're going to give you another coupon code next week for something. Probably 50% off of VJ Loops. <laughs> All right. So um, DJ De Deft SF, Mr. E, is that who we are saying is the most engaged viewer? And they'll get to pick um, a loop pack of their choosing. All right, cool. Congratulations, DJ Deft SF. Um, we're in the process of creating the win winter holiday loops and tools for streamers. Um, one of the differences between just VJ loops and like these actual elements is that we focus on graphics and animations for streamers. So we're we're thinking about things like raid overlays and um you know like hype train animations and specific uh very specific to streamers um animations with those kinds of things rather than just oh we're just doing vj loops so we're doing very specific um streamer kind of transparent alpha graph or uh, alpha channeled graphics and loops so uh that's the idea is that even if you're not using VJ tracks, you can still get these and use them in OBS, for example. You can still use all these flamethrowers and strobes and virtual stage effects. Those will still work because um, they're just regular movie files and MP4s. But the idea is if you want to really step up your broadcast and make it a lot easier, combine them uh, in VJ tracks with magic. So DJ Deft, if you want to reach out to us, um, actually, Mr. E, will you get in touch with DJ Deft to get his contact information? And then we will, uh, you'll want to go to vjtracks.com and check out all the different loop packs that we have there. And um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Last, uh, uh, last call for questions. Again, this is recorded. Um, hopefully this will show up when it's done on our channel. This is the first time we've actually recorded. So a lot of features are not available to us, but um, we will actually be demoing other software and other plugins that we use. It's not just about, it's not just about what the tools that we produce, but it's about showing, uh, showing other technology and plugins that make your, uh, make just a, a better broadcast. You can also go to you, our YouTube channel and you'll see a few demos there, tutorials and a lot of product. Um, if you wanna see what some of the loops look like, uh, you'll be able to do that. And then tune into my broadcast tonight, 8 p.m. Um, what, 8 p.m. Mountain, 7 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> tune in tonight to see what this all looks like together. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks for joining us. Our goal, again, is to do this every Wednesday. Next week is uh, not sure if it's going to happen <laughs> because it's so close to Thanksgiving. Um, we need to find out if that's going to happen on uh, as it's so close to Thanksgiving. So we'll send out an email um, letting you know when the next one is. And once again, please join our mailing list. Um, oh, the channel is... VJ, uh, excuse me, uh, DJ Bueller official on Twitch. And I think, I think that was posted earlier, but um, DJ Bueller official, there it is. All right, you guys have a great week. Thanks for tuning in and uh, we will do it again soon. Thanks a lot.